Podcast Together with Pastries, Pumps, and Pie, and I'm here with another video for my cash envelope stuffing. So I did not do my video last week as anticipated. There was a delay in me getting my paycheck that threw everything off from my budgeting. And so for this week, it's going to be like I'm starting over from scratch in a sense. So let's go ahead and get into it and then I'll explain in more detail on that um so yeah i didn't get my paycheck as i anticipated and i decided i was going to do my cash envelopes every two weeks based on my paycheck that i would get every two weeks because you know, i've explained to you guys in the past my pay is a little different from everybody else because i'm pretty much self-employed um and so because that paycheck was not provide it when it was supposed to be threw off all of my budgeting and what happened was at the end of the last two weeks I had um $11 left in groceries and I had $7 left in eating out and I used that amount last week to kind of get me by because I didn't want to pull from funds that I already have in the bank um I didn't want to really touch that but I did have to touch it a little bit um unfortunately but I was trying not to touch those funds because I'm planning a vacation and all of that. Um, so yes, finally got my paycheck and now I can stuff these envelopes. So personal, nothing changed. I did not end up, um, I didn't end up spending anything out of that. Let me get a pen. Um, I was supposed to go get a pedicure. That didn't happen. So. I still have the $30 in personal and I'm gonna add another $30. So let's put the date. Um, yeah, my camera stopped on me. Um, I need to clear my SD card apparently. It's crazy as many videos as I've been filming this these SD cards get so full and I think I just need to buy another one because I'm afraid to delete something off of it and then I need that video for some reason and then I don't have it so I don't know so yeah I need to put another $30 in here so it's going to give me 60 in the personal because like I said I did not use from this the last time so there's still $30 there so then that's going to become $60 okay and then gas I've already spent prior to filming $20 worth of gas so I'm just going to put that um, $20 in here I usually put 40 and I'll just put 20 so we're going to put the date 5 7 19 stuffing and then we'll put 20 and so that'll be $20 added to gas um, I've been doing pretty good with the gas I think I kind of want to increase it because I don't always like super duper fill up my tank like I'll be like at half a tank and I think I'm gonna increase it so that I'm at a full tank of gas um, but I thought my gas was going to cut down for the summer, but I don't know where I'm, my summer job location is going to be yet, so it may be far from the house. I don't know yet, so that will have an effect, uh, a factor on my gas as well. So groceries, we're starting new with groceries because, yeah, because of the whole paycheck thing. So I was within budget last week, um, the last time, which was good, so we put... $80 usually if I've already spent 20 so that's gonna be $60 I'll put the date and put stuffing and then we have $60 oh sorry this is the wrong one this is a uh, groceries I'm sorry uh, yeah groceries I spent $20 already I think did I just say gas I don't know this is groceries so I spent $20 out of already so I'm gonna put in 60 and then eating out is usually 50 so 20 30 
40 50 dollars so yeah and we stayed within budget of this the last time as well because i had seven dollars left that i used last week um so five seven nineteen stuffing and that was 50. And I have been keeping better track of my receipts and stuff, I must say. Um, but I just wasn't going to go through all of that trouble considering the breakdown in pay. So, And I have been taking my coins based on all of you guys' suggestions. I've been taking the coins and I've been just putting them in my other stash where I was putting coins. And so that's where they're all going. And um, once they get too full I'll just cash those out at one of those coin machines or whatever so yeah so we have eating out that's gonna have $50 for now we have groceries which is gonna have $60 for now um, gas which will have 20 because I already spent 20 and then the personal has 60 bucks and I didn't even think I could have taken from the personal instead of taking from the money that was in my bank that I didn't want to take from, I could have taken from the personal instead. Um, but I forgot that I hadn't even spent that because I hadn't gone to get my pedicure. That tells you how much I do self-care. Yeah. So we're all set for these next two weeks. Um, what I decided to do so that I didn't have that problem with my pay anymore at work, I was like turning in my timesheets every two weeks and getting paid every two weeks. And now I'm going for the rest of this year, school year, I'm paying, um, turning in my time sheets every week and going to get my paycheck every week. So I might start doing my envelope stuffing weekly for the next few weeks. And I did send an email to HR about how I was not happy about that. So I expect when I go in there this Friday that I should not have to be told that my paycheck is not ready or that I should not have to wait for it. Um, hopefully we have allevi alleviated that problem. So you guys know what to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.